Today I'm going to be talking about the clamping system for the electric eel wheel yarn counter. So the way the clamping system works is it has this little clamp mechanism included and you insert it into a hole like this and then there's a little wing nut down here that you tighten and I'll show you how that works in a little bit. Uh, but that's the one that currently ships with it. In the email newsletter I sent out last month, I asked people how to improve the yarn counter because I'm potentially going to be doing another batch of them in the future and I wanted to decide if I should be improving it or just reshipping the current version because I hadn't gotten many um, suggestions for improvements. But uh, the community came through huge and I got a lot of ideas and I'm currently evaluating them. The one idea that I'm going to be talking about today is a way to improve the clamp. They basically said that when they use this clamp, it wasn't holding the yarn counter down as well as they would like. I think there were only two people who mentioned this, so it wasn't one of the most common issues, but I do know that I plan to use this clamp for uh, e-spinners in the future potentially, so I decided it was a good time to experiment and try a bunch of different ways of making it clamp a little bit better. So initially I was working on a version like this. So this is just a 3D printed prototype of the plastic portion. And I don't know if it's gonna show up, but basically I started angling this piece on the bottom instead of just making it uh, straight out perpendicular to the vertical surface here. I angled it up a little bit. So this one's got sort of a moderate angle. I tried some with more angles, some with less angles, uh, because what I noticed was that this head portion uh, twists down and it, it's not actually bending. What's happening is with the uh, hole in the top right there and also the hole in the uh, base here. Both of those have some flex so that allows this portion to sort of bend a little bit up and down and uh, it, it's more pronounced the harder you clamp. So I thought if I could get it good angle that would make it clamp stronger. And it did help slightly, but it wasn't making a big difference. And then I came up with this idea. So this is an articulating head that I started including. And this is the first one of these that I made. I made several more of those prototypes and I ended up with this version here, which uh, really makes a significant improvement. And basically the idea is as this bottom portion sort of flex or not flexes, but as it twists downwards, this head can adjust itself to always stay flat on the under knot side of your table. And it just works really well. So here it's, a, so it's actually two different pieces. This is sort of one piece. And then the head over here is the other portion. And basically this will snap in to that. And it's actually pretty easy to snap them together. It's a little more difficult to unconnect them, but uh, people won't have to do that. In fact, you won't have to snap them. I'll ship them snapped together, but it doesn't really come apart very easily once it's snapped together, but it allows this head portion to swivel back and forth. And that's sort of the important part. So here I've got both of them clamped on. This is the original one, and this is the one I 3D printed, and it has that articulating head and you can kind of see how the bottom portion has um, due to the clearances or the guidance in the hole it sort of angles itself at a little bit weird angle and then because of the head being able to move up and or being able to articulate uh, it is making a firm contact with the underneath and what that means in practice is I clamped these both with sort of a moderate amount of tension and the original one you can kind of, whoops, you can, I mean, it, it's not easy to do. It's definitely holding itself in place. And I don't think this new clamp is that important for the yarn counter, but if I were to do e-spinners and things, you'd want a stronger clamping force and you can sort of see it, I can flex. But on this other one, I really can't, I mean, if I try really hard, I can get it to just barely budge, but uh, pretty much solid much more firmly held in place than the original clamp. Now here's a different table and this one's a little bit more of a stress test. It's got a rounded lip on the top and 
That one's actually a little bit bigger problem for the original clamping system. You can see there's actually a little gap. I mean, it's still held in place pretty well with the yarn counter in the original clamp, but there is a gap underneath it. Uh, this is the new clamping system and there's, there's no gap and it's definitely held in place much more firmly than the original one. So again, I don't think this makes too much difference with the yarn counter, but if I were to do um, clamps for e-spinners in the future, I think this new clamp will work a lot better there. But if people want to print it out for their yarn counters, I will make the files freely available online. So just check out the links in the description. I'll also have a link there that describes how you can get it printed if you don't have your own 3D printer. Thanks for watching.